everybody. Welcome back to episode 78 Talk Today podcast with your host, Kaya Montigny, and I'm so excited to have on actor, singer, dancer, and ensemble in the Broadway show, The Music Man, Mitchell, Mitchell Tobin. Thanks so much, Con Mitchell. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Oh my gosh. So you're an actor, <laughs> singer, dancer. What made you want to start doing that and being in this type of industry? So, um, I, actually, my older sister uh, was in the competition dance. And so I would always go with my mom to her dance competitions. And um, I always wanted to like join her on stage and eventually got to the point where I would be crawling up onto the stage while my sister was doing her solos and my parents would have to come and literally drag me off stage. And so then they were like, okay, maybe we should put them in some dance classes. Um, And so, I just my first the first thing that introduced me to the this world really is um dance and um from there I just continued honing my skills and then eventually auditioned for Billy which then opened my eyes to the world of musical theater and so then after that I just um continued to improve my acting and singing so that eventually one day I could get to be on Broadway yeah exactly like you said you like performing in Billy and all that stuff. Like, what was that experience like? He's like, you yeah. have role multiple times, like all over the place. Yeah, so I, my, the first, I, I did it on the second national tour. And then I moved to the West End to do it in London. And then after that, um, I was getting ready to start high school. And so we moved back home and I ended up doing it a couple more times in, in regional theaters or around the world again not around the world around the u.s um i did it in kansas uh california um long island and then that was time i was like okay now it's time to be and as a somewhat of a normal child and Mm. so then i decided to just focus on my studies in high school and whatnot um but it was such an amazing experience um touring as a um, such a young child and being mm-hmm. surrounded with so many like-minded people was so special and um, really helped form me into the person that I am. Mm-hmm. Um, it was definitely hard being away from my family and my home, but um, it was so much fun being the lead of a show at such a young age and having that experience because um, it's not always common. And I'm actually in um, Music Man with the um, other Billy that I trained with and toured with. He's actually a music man with me. Oh, really? Yeah, Drew oh. Minard. We oh both- God, I can't believe that. Like, what's his name? I feel like I might have heard of them. Yeah, his, his name is Drew Minard. He um, started Billy with me. Um, we trained in New York for, I think, four months. And um, then we went on tour together. And uh, yeah, we've been best friends ever since oh my god that's amazing what a world like like, right oh it's what a world yeah and I had no idea that he was going to be in the audition until it was the final callback and he like walked in right as I was learning the combo and I was like oh my god hey (laughs) like LA are you really auditioning for this role right now imagine if you guys were just like doing the same exact role that I know I we originally um we thought that we got cast in the same little like in the same t- type of dancing role, but then ultimately we got separated into little, very similar roles, but um, he gets to do more jumping and I get to do more turns. Oh my God, that's awesome. Like you, like you, like you said before, you began, like began dancing at such a young age and everything. Yeah. You started competing by the age of five, right? Yeah, I actually, um, yeah, I, I think so. It was such a long time ago. Um, my first yeah. solo, actually, I was, I barely could tap dance. I could barely dance. It was more so just, I was just so happy to be on stage. It was just me kind of walking around and performing and like living my best life on stage. But um, yeah, I, I think I, I started dancing when I was three years old and um, haven't stopped since. I've been um, in dance classes almost like all my life ever since. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, what was, your, what's your favorite, like, thing, like, style of dancing like, to do? Because I do dance as well, so I love dancing. Oh, dance. yay. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I would say my favorite style is, hmm. Ooh, that's a good question. I really love 
classical dance and mm -hmm. contemporary. Um, but I, um, I've been exploring more styles and options. And um, now one of my, I really love doing um, heel stance mm -hmm. and, um, and neoclassical work. And it's, yeah, and I really love them all, but I would definitely have to say my favorite is probably like classical slash neoclassical and heels. No, I love that. Like I like I do tap dancing and all these. Oh things. really? I basically try everything. Yeah, like, that's t t like tap dancing and like hip hop are like my two main things. Oh, that's amazing. My sister and I actually the dance studio that we were at when we started was mainly a tap studio. So I oh, was um which my ma I, my main skill was tapping for a very oh, long time. I love that. Like, where are you originally from? Um, I'm originally from Florida. Oh no way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I live like up in Pennsylvania, so it's not that far from New No, York that's State. not far at all. So it's not that far from like Florida and everything. Florida yeah. is literally like my second home. Oh really? You go yeah. there a lot? Yeah, I go there a lot, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I seriously love Florida and everything. I literally travel <laughs> there, not gonna lie. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. it's, it, is, it is quite nice. The weather is always, you can always count on the warm sun. <laughs> yeah. And so you are currently an assemble on Tony Nominated Broadway show, The Music Man. Yes. And it is seriously amazing. I could literally see a million times and would never get bored of it. And so like, what is it like, like to be part of Broadway production with such an amazing cast? Uh, it has been life changing, honestly. Um, it's very, um, it can be a little intimidating making your Broadway debut with such a uh, well-seasoned cast mm -hmm. and with such, this cast is just so good. Um, mm -hmm. When I was walking in, it can be a little bit like, wow, wow, this is, wow. Um, yeah, like this is, it's a very surreal thing. Being very like surreal. But um, it's been the biggest blessing and um, I've made a little home and family with this show. Um, ever since rehearsals, we just immediately just like all, it was always just such good energy and just such uh, a good time that mm -hmm. as we moved to the theater, it was just so natural for us to kind of, we all wanted the show to be as amazing as possible. And so we were all putting in our very best work and um we also just were always going in with the best mindset that we could and creating such a good work environment um so it's been surreal honestly I've always I mean I've, I've seen so many shows at the Winter Garden when I was younger so it's been a dream of mine um and so to make my Broadway debut is with this cast in this theater it's like at my age also it's it's super, super special to me. Oh my god, I love that! Like, do you have a favorite moment or a moment that kind of stuck out to you to show so far? Is this yeah, to, you know, I think it's supposed to go on to like November or something. Yeah, it's supposed to. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's. I think you're right. It's somewhere in like November slash December area of yeah. the of yeah. the time zone. But um, I think my favorite part moment, I guess, of the show is the library. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Because Hugh is just so good at what he does. It's so natural. And he just, like, that whole number is essentially Harold is messing around with Mary and trying to, like, Yeah, and trying, like, from, like, they just have to see where they throw around all the books and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and so one of my favorite things is just seeing all the different takes that you will do um so every single time every single performance it's a little bit different it's never the same um especially with the library um and i mean like you said with the throwing of the books sometimes we can't always catch it yeah. um and so oftentimes i've actually hugh sometimes will throw his book and not catch it and it'll fall down into like the orchestra pit and there was a time where like um the conductor was just like we handed him the book while we were all performing. It was hysterical. Oh my so god! Like, I love little moments like that. Like it's just hysterical. Thinking myself like, oh, this is yours. Like no, yeah. 
honestly though <laughs> yeah and i met you twice and he, oh, yeah. he's so funny and so kind and i met him like when i went down a couple of weeks ago oh, yeah. and he's really the sweetest person like i ever met in my life i know it's and, like when i just talked to him we were like talking for like five minutes and, like, we're, and he's just the sweetest person i really that's really, like the best conversation i ever had in my life yeah so I, I remember Sutton in an interview was saying how like one of his greatest attributes is he disarms you immediately mm -hmm. um, and makes you feel safe and um, I, it, I, I, I was very excited to meet him and I had no idea what he was going to be like just because you know this is my first not my the first time I'm actually spending quality time with such a two huge celebrity i mean mm -hmm. there are a lot of really big names in this cast so i you know it's so special he literally brings us scratch off lottery tickets every saturday oh my um, god no way and so and it brings us bagels every sunday um and he's just so uh, he like when we our first show pardon my cat um <laughs> our first show he was so nervous he, his cheeks were starting to like quiver and like seeing someone who is so successful so talented be so down to earth and humble mm -hmm. is oh uh, it's so uh, every single day it's like insane he never i is, always has like a smile on his face he's always saying hi to everyone, hugging everyone. He's always just like reminding everyone how amazing they are and how happy he is to be there. Um, so it's honestly insane to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like once I first saw, like when I first met him, I just remember being so starstruck. I've never been so starstruck in my life. Yeah. I, like I've been a fan of, fan of Hughes for years. Mm -hmm. and I idolized him and everything. I was like, yeah. oh my God, this new doctor. Like, I don't know why, but like I, and like I'm basically like calm around a lot of people since I really talk to celebrities and everything for a living. So I'm like, oh, uh, this will be perfect. Like I'll be fine. Like yeah, I got this in the bag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And like I like it was complete opposite. I was like I really from pass out. Like I was like, <laughs> cute. like I really was like awesome. I'm like Kylie. If you if you embarrass yourself in front of Hugh Jackman, then you oh would, I know you would get it. yeah you regret <laughs> it. The first time I met him, I was like, I, I. <laughs> so he was I like heard... awkward. I'm like, hi. No, literally, it took me a while to feel comfortable enough to actually talk to him as if he's just one of my friends, you know. Yeah. Um, and same with Sutton. It took me a while to actually not think of her as Sutton Foster and just Yeah, but she's so uh, she's like a Broadway legend. Yes, she is. And she's oh my god, she's a beast on stage. It's, she's mm -hmm. so good, so mm -hmm. stable, so consistent. Well, I mean, both of them are insane. It's so inspiring watching. Exactly. Them. Like what is it like to like as I kind of what is it kind of talk about? Like, what is it like to get to work with both of them? Like as you said before. Like, it's, like, different every single day as mm -hmm. the shows are, like, every single day, eight shows a week. Yeah. Like, what's it kind of, like, like to basically do all these shows with them and be, like, they're so big in, like, the Broadway world and this in general. And, like, what's it kind of like to do it every day, like, with them? No, totally. I, um, it's, <laughs> I've been using this word a lot, but it's very surreal. Um, yeah. You know, Doing, I mean, doing eight shows a week in of itself is very difficult to always be on and always be there and present, but they somehow create this environment where it's just like, it's just a part of the day. It's just, you know, some, it, like, for example, like I was super tired in between shows, so I took a nap woke up to me at 10 the 10 minute call and i was running very late and big i was like freaking out but then like not only hugh and sutton but like the rest of this cast is just so like oh you're well you're here you're fine we're gonna put on a show it's gonna be great hugh some um, hugh gave me a hug i talked to sutton before the library 
and she was like how are you how is everything I was like good I feel absolutely insane like I woke up at 10 minutes and I was like I was trying because she her thing is she naps every single time in between shows and so um I was like oh maybe I'll try what Sutton does and so they're always just so like they have this ability to make you feel so seen and heard and calm it's um crazy and I was saying this before they're both so humble and like when we were in rehearsals he would just like when he got a chance he would just walk into the rehearsal studio and sit down just to watch all of us dance and then he would just be sitting there like <laughs> like oh seeing seeing this huge huge man who has done so many amazing things just like be it so in awe of the dancing that we're doing is mind-blowing to me and he's just like oh they always it's yeah they, they're so so special they are they were born to be the lead like the he was born to be a leading man and she was mm -hmm. born to be a leading woman and then mm -hmm. together it's like such an amazing duo yeah, yeah exactly like i was gonna say that it's like they're like their duo in a music man is seriously like my favorite duo of all time like they're yeah like the way they act off and on stage is something you don't see often no and, like their chemistry and the way they act with each other and everything and i'm like yeah. oh, like i want this like it's something you don't see a lot yeah like i i, I so i brought my sister to the opening party and was i introduced her to Hugh and sutton and when I introduced my sister to Sutton, she was like, oh my gosh, it's so nice to finally meet you. And my sister was like, what are you talking about? I, I'm nothing. You're Sutton Foster. I don't know. <laughs> so it's just like, uh, they're both so amazing. And the relationship that they have built together, it's so special. They do, um, before every show, they um, just sit in one of their dressing rooms and just like chat. And just have something to drink and just catch up. I mean, Sutton's daughter just thinks of Hugh Jackman as Uncle Hugh. That's just, they're oh, just yeah. so close. And yeah, we're all just such like a tight knit family. It's so special. Oh, yeah, I love that. So, do you have anyone they look up to as an actor or like a dancer? Uh, as a dancer, I've always looked up to Barishnikov. Um, I'm um, seeing him in White Night when I was younger. I was always like, wow, I, I, I want to do that. And um, also just like, honestly, <laughs> it's hard for me to pick someone in the theater world just because when I was younger, I would just, I would just like absorb as many Broadway shows as I could. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's like anyone who, I mean, Hugh Jackman, honestly, has always been a big inspiration to me. Um, seeing him in The Greatest Showman, it was oh, yeah. insane. And um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I always have more so the idolization I've always had for Barishnikov as a dancer and performer has always been um, kind of the leading factor in getting me to a point where I could be a, not only a because I feel like he is such an icon that he's not only a dancer, you know, yeah. like he's done so many things and started off as such an amazing dancer. And that's kind of how I want to create my career. It's like started off as just like someone who can dance, but is so much more. Yeah, exactly. Like, like you, like a lot of people you see are not like, are always on one percent thing. Like they always say, oh, this world means nothing. I gotta do it to get more popularity. Yeah. And there's and like there's really like if you see someone like Hugh Jackman do it, he just does it to get more experience and actually wants to do it. He cares about everyone that's working with him. Yes. And he and he really shows that. Like I literally but like saw that in on tour when he went on tour years ago. And like uh -huh. he literally was talking with everyone and the crowd and everything. Like he's literally the most part woman person i literally don't know him that well but <laughs> i can tell i was like no. a fan and when i got a chance to speak with them that i'm like okay well this is how he is no yeah I, it's, it's him and the way that he is 
in on in, on stage and in interviews is exactly the way that he is off stage and it's just in private. It's crazy. And same with Sutton. They're both so uh, bubbly and bright. It's like, mm -hmm. there's, yeah. <laughs> it's you don't see a lot in people. No, it's, it's really not. Um, and Sutton was saying this, he is like the perfect leading man and has created, like, he like leads the company in such an amazing way and mm -hmm. um you know i mean they both do it's not just i mean like you were saying the way that they interact with each other um has really created such a safe space and um mm -hmm. and same with all of the other cast members on stage like jefferson is an amazing actor um i remember in rehearsals um when we would be in the uh, the gym scene right before 76 trombones when the mayor is trying to do um, four scores and seven years ago. Mm -hmm. We would literally have to stop because we would all be cracking up because he would just be so amazing and hysterical and funny. And so I just go, it's a constant cycle of inspiration. Mm -hmm. I love that. So the final question is, what is some advice for younger generations that I like to be like a dancer, actor, that type of stuff one day? Um, absorb everything you can. Um, it took me a while to kind of break the nervousness and the kind of like, I don't want to say stigma, but like, you know, can be scary mm -hmm. breaking the mold and trying to be an actor and singer and dancer. Um, and you don't know, like, if, it, if it'll happen for you. But the best advice I could give is just always keep going and always, mm -hmm. like, always take the class that makes you the most uncomfortable. See as many shows as you can. Go to concerts. Go to plays. Um, just like soak everything up like a sponge um because there's so many lessons to be learned not only on like seeing stuff but like in in the studio and in classes like I've learned so many amazing lessons just going to steps and Broadway Dance Center mm -hmm. um and I met so many amazing people so I would say yeah the best advice I could give is just keep your head up, keep on, keep going, keep going to those classes, and um, it, everything happens for a reason. Exactly. And then, well, yes. I couldn't yeah. agree more, like, as long as if, if you really want to do something, you need to work on it, unless you're not going to go anywhere. Yes, exactly. If, if, it's, if, you're in, if you dream about something, the only way to make a dream is a reality is to work towards that reality. Exactly, um, exactly. So, and so I just want to thank you so much for coming on the podcast. I seriously love speaking with you. Oh my gosh, you're so great. You seriously are amazing. Thank you. It was you're so sweet. It was a pleasure. It was a thank pleasure. You so thank you. And let's get let's like grab coffee or something next time I head down to New York City. Yeah. Do something. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let me know when you're back in the city and we'll go grab a coffee and have a face-to-face -face conversation. <laughs> yes, I love that. So thank you so much, and let's speak soon for sure. Thank you so yes. much. Yes, of course. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye.